Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut of Control alt v which will launch and display the Paste Special dialog box. We'll discuss a little bit about how and why you might want to use the Paste Special dialog box within Excel, and then an alternate way to launch the Paste Special dialog box if you don't remember the keyboard shortcut Control alt v So with that, let's get started. All right, so when you are in Excel, first let's go control and clear all of that data. Control home, go back to our first cell. Now that we're ready to start, let's get started. Now, when you copy something, you will copy the formatting of that. So if I were to select these cells and then press control C, and then just do a regular paste, that of control V, you'll notice that not only copies the contents, that of year three and 500, but it copies the formatting. This can be frustrating because maybe you don't want blue background or maybe you don't want bold text. Maybe you just want it to say total and not total in bold text with a blue background. A way to get around this is to use paste special. So if you select something, so let's say that we wanted to select this group of data, we can use control C to copy it. And then if we just do a regular paste, it would paste all of that formatting. But my preference might actually be to use a different keyboard shortcut. So rather than press control V for paste, we can press control alt V. Pressing control alt V will launch the paste special dialog box. And then you have a series of choices. You can just paste the formulas, the values, the formats, comments, you can do all of these different choices. You can tell it to skip links or transpose information. At this point, we'll just say values. When we just press the values, it means that we didn't copy any of the formatting of these different colors. We didn't actually copy this formula here. You can see that this is just an actual value. So we'll compare these two. Copy. First, we'll just do a regular paste. You'll see that there's a bunch of formatting and that this is an equation, it's essentially equation of this. However, if and when we copy this, we go control V and just the values. These are all hard coded values, including this total and there's no formatting. On the other hand, you might want to copy just the formatting. So let's say that we want to take this formatting and apply it here. If we were to do regular control, control C and then control V, it would replace the values. What I actually want to do is select all of this, control and then select this and then control V and we just want to paste the formats. So again, it would match these uh, the formats, although this is technically not supposed to be dollars, but when we copied it, it was dollars. So pay special can be a really useful way to copy information. I would encourage you to experiment with copying or rather pasting the formulas, just the values, the formats, the comments, so on and so forth. However, if you forget the keyboard shortcut of control alt V, but you want to launch the pay special dialog box, one way to do that would be to come to your home tab, come here under paste, there's a little arrow, you would click on that arrow, and you would go to this last section where it says paste the special, you could click that, and then you could choose one of the items that you'd like to do. So a third way would be to press the alt key, the H key, the V key, and then I believe it's going to be S for paste special, that too would launch the paste special dialog box. So in this video, we discussed a little bit the idea of how you could use the Pay Special dialog box, but mostly we looked at three ways to launch the Pay Special dialog box, including that of Control Alt V, that of taking your mouse, selecting under Paste, going to Pay Special, or alternatively pressing the Alt key, the H key. Well, first we need some text. All right, Alt key, H key, V key, S key would give us the Pay Special dialog box. 
In our next video, we'll begin a section in which we look at how to use borders and the keyboard shortcuts for borders. So if you're interested in working with borders, please join us in the next section. And as always, thanks for watching.